So this is a 1934 Lagonda Rapier with its twin cam just over 1100 cc engine. Uh, at the time it was designed it was intended to be the finest small British engine. Well the leather helmet was a Christmas present from my wife and I must admit I'm very grateful for it on a, a rather cold winter's afternoon. My idea was to take a drive up Hesleton Hill in North Yorkshire and up onto the Yorkshire Worlds to see how the little 1104 cc twin cam would cope. It's a model I've never driven before and I could only compare it with contemporary MGs and Rileys I've driven. To sum it up, it really is a baby Lagonda and the quality of build and design excellence set it apart in this class. Motorsport magazine in September 1934 described it as a small capacity four seat touring car capable of well over 70 miles an hour. They described the girling brakes as the best they had tried and on a timed quarter mile they tested the car at 80.3 miles an hour. Quote, the rapier breaks new ground in bringing together the low tax and small upkeep of the light car and the long wearing qualities and high cruising speed of the medium weight tourer. Lagonda enthusiasts, hitherto prevented by financial considerations from owning one of the larger cars, have reason to rejoice at the appearance of the junior member of the family built in the same tradition. The now legendary name Lagonda was chosen for a new British engineering company founded in 1906 by American former opera singer Wilbur Gunn. He had early success building motorcycles and by 1907 had built his first car, the 20 horsepower Torpedo. His early small engine cars like the 1913 11 one, a 1099cc four cylinder, are not well known but he continued building four cylinder cars between the wars. Lagonda is of course more famous for the larger six-cylinder cars like the M45, the LG45 and LG6, particularly the later models designed during the period when W.O. Bentley was designer for Lagonda, having left Rolls-Royce. The Lagonda Rapier came along in 1934 with an engine produced by Coventry Climax and fitted with a Wilson Preselect gearbox. This model was only built by Lagonda until the company itself failed in 1935 but continued being manufactured until 1938 by Rapier cars at the former Lagonda London Service Centre. Only around 300 Rapiers were built by Lagonda themselves. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little run out on the Yorkshire Worlds in this 1934 Lagonda Rapier. I've certainly had fun and I think it gives us an encouraging taster of what life will be like once again when coronavirus is part of our history rather than part of our future. This kind of car is for me the archetypal English sporting car of the 1930s. It's smooth, it's refined and for its day it was quite a quick car and I think at the price it is just under £40,000 this is probably about as good value as you're going to find in such a thoroughbred motor car.